Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the news. Atari 2600 and 7800 Homebrew. It is Tuesday. It is. Welcome, Atari. Atari's Welcome. stretching out in the in the cat cam there. Yeah. He's welcome nice. everybody in yes, the chat welcome. live on twitch and welcome everybody Hello. on youtube after the fact um we've got three games today Yay. it's a 7800 day yeah so we've got dragon's descent mm -hmm. a brand new build by todd fermanski revan tooley who's in the chat with us awesome. so if you have any questions about his game there he is mm -hmm. uh we've got potiru poetiru mm -hmm. potiru don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we've also got Moon Cresta by Bob De Crescenzo, yes. Pac Man Plus, another yeah. great shooter arcade port. You've played it, but I haven't really on the show because mm. we played through all of his mm -hmm. when we, we did, did his uh, interview on the yes, show. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. They're right down there. Mm -hmm. 8 bit Swami Allen, the Firearms Car, Coda, Atari HB, R Poka, Bucko, Owens, Catalog, Charles Wheel, and Chive. Five Coconut, Danic Z, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Gretams, Drunk, Ground Trooper, Jedekiah, Johnny WC, One Year Auto, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Mark Space, Mike Soul, Mike, uh, Mark Space Inc., Mike Soul, Miss Command, MJ Smith, Mr. Zarnamu, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strum, Nyander, Pack Rat, VG, Koag, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Rehet, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Socrates, Spice Rice, Ramirez, D Train, Welsh, Manny Nine, Tiki Dan, K, TM Events, Trek MD, and XK, X, Ken X. And if you want to be on that list and make it <laughs> even longer for me to say, yeah. just subscribe with um, your Amazon Prime linked up to your Twitch Prime. It's free, 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 free. Mm -hmm. um, and most of the people who do subscribe, subscribe that way, I believe. So it's all free um, and helps out the show. And, um, and you can follow us on Twitch just like how many people? 852 people mm. and you can get alerted to when the show's on live because sometimes it's difficult to keep track. We broadcast on Tuesdays and Fridays, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific time. Except every second Friday when Darcy's here and then it's noon. Mm -hmm. uh, nostalgic approves of your t-shirt. Yes, Duran Duran. 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 You've seen them live? A I haven't. A few times. Yeah. Two or three times. And they were good? Excellent. Yeah. Not in the 80s, like more recent yeah. tours, but yes, excellent. Um, excellent, excellent. And follow us on Facebook and mm -hmm. YouTube and all of that. Um, I have, we played um, AVCS Tech Challenge, mm -hmm. um, well Darcy and I did, the other day as part of the um, 2600 High Score Showdown, and uh, I did okay, I would have liked to do better, um, but you can see the results here, I came in 10th place, <gasps> look Ooh, at that, congrats. there's my name, where's, where's Darcy? Uh, 11. We didn't submit his score. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, he'd probably be like, eh. He was around, mm -hmm. right around there between, I think it was, no, he got 20, 22, around yeah. there. So he'd be around the 22 to 24 oh, okay. range. very nice, very nice. So, yeah. Oh, somebody wake up Atari. Oh, oh, oh. no, he's awake. He's just hot. He's a yeah. hot cat. He's a very hot cat. But it's always fun to uh, participate in the high score challenges because it gives you a uh, score to shoot for, um, you know, so you can keep going and going and not go, oh, that's my best. But uh, I kept pushing, pushing and yeah. I, I got better and better. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Like keeping sleeping Excellent. cats lie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so I'll be look on the lookout for uh, more games, uh, homebrew games. They're mm. not, not playing homebrew games. He said he does about two or three each season mm. um, so i'll keep my eyes open i think he already did one this season uh oh quarter three game list so every quarter i guess and they do one every week uh so they have skateboarding mystery game i don't think it's usually homebrew robot tank dark cavern mystery game donkey kong jr mm. so we usually just stick to the homebrew ones on there gotcha yeah so nice. uh yeah pretty pretty happy with that excellent um so we've got uh more planet rotation demos from andrew davy oh from cool. his game when hop something something yeah. something <laughs> i haven't memorized the, the rest of it yet uh, uh so he sent me over a uh new demo okay for us to show cool and um 
I don't know if you saw the planet, the rotating planet. I don't know so if we'll I remember the you rotating then. planet. So we'll take a look at this. It doesn't run on real hardware because so. he, he's just he's just playing around with. Okay, this. so it's a video. Uh, no, actually, he sent over the binary. Oh, it I runs see. Runs in Stella, in Stella, but not okay. actual yep, yep. Uh, real hardware yet because mm. um, he hasn't optimized it for that yet. So let's make sure this is going to work. Uh, so Stella, there we go. Now this this is a. Astounding. Yeah, mm -hmm. Carl G says, yo, those, yes, those rotating planet demos are pretty amazing. So this is the one uh, he sent to me actually today. Some updates for that. Oh. That's not going to. That's not going to fly. <laughs> one second. One second. Let me get it working first, and then I'll switch over. Because it always seems to want to do, uh, put it in my primary screen screen and then i have to move it over uh, to the screen that we look at okay now it should work there we go okay there we go wow look ZPH. at that Woo. so he sent a uh zph yeah zph one let me just make sure i can click on very that. nice so <laughs> he has a number of planets and uh, we showed this last time, I think, with Darcy here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it now it actually curves around. You can see on the edges. Oh, wow. It curves around. So it's actually somewhat mapped onto, okay. the, onto the sphere. Um, before, it was kind of a flat mm. um, surface, just gliding oh, across. Oh, I see, going across. And now he's made it so it looks... Like it's turning. Like it's actually That's turning. That's amazing. And he's got a number of different planets. There's like a, a moon base. A kind That's of That's star-esque, but in gold. Yeah, it's yeah. got like a, a rings around it, yeah. protecting it or That's something. Amazing. Some sort of force field, maybe. Um, he's got an, he's Earth? got Earth. Wow. Like literally Earth. You can see there's North America, South America, Africa, mm -hmm. Europe, Asia, and Australia, and uh, uh, New Zealand is left out. Oh, <laughs> I don't see New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> um, then an imaginary kind of planet with a uh, stripe, kind of a mm. oh, couple stripes there. Mm. Then he's got a moon <laughs> that says M O O N. That spells moon. Uh, with a couple different nice, nice colors there. And then he's got more of a kind of our moon looking. Mm. Yeah. Gray, yellowy. Needs a board cube. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think he's just got <laughs> um, just the, the round wow. planet, the spherical planet the sphere. right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, wow. Good job. So he messaged me yesterday with um, with with this. Uh, he said, I did a ZPH planet for you in case you feel like showing it on the show. The ZPH one. Oh, there's another one, actually. Some stripey one, a bunch yeah. of different colors. There we go. There's the ZPH one. <laughs> nice. Um, so use the select to cycle between planets, mm -hmm. which I've been doing, and then the reset will change the random planet bits. So he's got the base planet with the ZPH, but if I... Now let's just take a look at this between the bottom of the H right there. Uh, there's like a green in the upper left. Yeah. So I will. Now it's different. Now it's all brown between and the bottom part of the H. Oh, I see. And I'll do it again. Yeah, it's green. Different. So it's it's changing it up. So there's some randomizations mm. to the surface of the planet. Mm. <clears throat> Death Star, yeah, I guess this one. Death Star esque. That yeah. one's Death Star esque. I mean, it should be like white or gray, but yeah. it has the look of the Death They've Star. They've updated the yeah. colors. They're That's using cool. gold, gold now, bronze. I don't know. Are they? <laughs> um, so it's cheaper. I don't know. <laughs> there's not only this. Hmm? There is this. <gasps> what? Real time software My scaling. Alone. <laughs> that That's that crazy. is incredible on an Atari twenty six hundred. <laughs> Wow. So you can go whoosh, right past it. Like That's you're flying so cool. like you're flying over the planet. Over the top of it. Yeah, over its normal. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Let's just make it there. Um 
so I hope he decides to include the scaling mm. when he um, puts it into the game. Mm. Like you get closer and closer to the planet and you land your spaceship on it or something. Or just flies into it and gets smaller and smaller. Mm. Something like that. Um, so I'll, pra uh, I'll paraphrase the explanation he sent me. He sent like a huge page long explanation of how he did this, how he achieved this. And it's quite incredible. Um, uh, first, I draw the texture as a 10 by 12 window. Believe it or not, that is 10, 10 by 12 large pixels across, mm. I think, and 12 down. Because um, really? if you scroll in and you pause it, uh, I think it's easier on the ZPH one. Because the ZPH or the let's just do the ZPH one. So if you look at the Z here, mm. it's one, two, three, four, five, six, or maybe these are segments. One, two, three, four. Oh, I see big segments. Five, yeah, big segments. Each of those is a, oh, maybe not. Yeah. Mm -mm. Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> he says. Ten by twelve characters. Each character is character is four pixels across and 24 lines deep okay mm characters um onto a 40 by 12 board representing the planet's surface it's a rectangular flat scrolling window i'll just keep it going now oh. don't need to pause it uh the next part is wrapping the texture onto the surface of a sphere uh to determine the horizontal line from the texture map he says it comes down to simple trigonometry Based on the curve of a sphere, we can use the Pythagoras and trig to figure out the distance down from the top of the texture. Mm -hmm. That's done for each scan line. And so we effectively now only display those texture lines for each scan line, uh, with e which each scan line points to. And with that, we have a horizontal cylinder on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, so he's first calculating uh, the vertical, the horizontal lines and where they go mm -hmm. and which ones they are. It mm -hmm. just effectively skips over the ones that aren't shown. Aren't shown. Yeah. Um, then to determine oh, yeah. each horizontal line from the texture map, he says it comes to, oh, uh, I said that one. And then for each half, so he calculates half because playfield is divided into left and right on a 2600. Um, for each pixel on screen, we know where it intersects that curved outer edge. We get a distance horizontally into the texture surface map. We already know the line from the vertical calculations. Now we're just getting the correct pixel in the line. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he creates a table for each scan line, which is effectively a mask. It starts from the center and specifies on or off for 20 bits horizontally. If a bit is on, we add the pixel from the texture. If it's off, we skip that pixel. Mm -hmm. um, um, then the scaling... Timer's running out in the background. He's using the same engine. Oh, <laughs> as, as the game. So the game is actually running in the background. Gotcha. It's, it'll just, it's just, it, just ignore that. That's <laughs> uh, pretty funny, though. Um, the scaling is achieved by first doing all of the above. Then after we've wrapped the texture onto each scan line, half, we post-process those 20 bits with a simple linear scale. Uh, step through the pixels not one by one, but by a scale factor and generate a new 20 pixels to use instead. Wow. Similarly for the scanline texture masking. So now the joystick controls a simple scale multiplier and thus you get your zooming. <laughs> so let's go to this one. And I was playing around with this. Like you can, you can stop it. Slow it. And you can reverse, reverse it as it. well. Wow. But not only that, you can get it speeding up faster and faster carl g says he's holding out for atari google earth <laughs> and i i held this down for three straight minutes oh really and it just keeps getting faster and faster and faster That's and faster insane. and i know that it keeps getting faster because i had to hold it down for another straight three minutes to slow it back down what so you know when a car when when a car tire spins and yeah. you're looking at it then all of yeah. a sudden it starts yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of going Look at that. Look backwards. At that. Yeah, I just did that. And then it starts going forwards again, and then it starts going backwards again. Like, look at it, and now it's going backwards That's again. That's insane. And it that just so cool. goes faster and faster <laughs> and faster. 
Anyway, I'm not going to hold it down for three minutes, but I'll hold it back. Now, now I'm reversing it You're and I'm just it slowing it down and it'll go through the whole it's thing like again. Spoke so I don't know how many bits, wheel. how many bits he's using. Wow. To remember the speed of the rotation of this wow. planet, but he's using a fair number of bits uh. to remember how fast it's spinning. I'm holding out for Atari Google Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The zooming's incredible. I've not seen that before. Yeah, real time zooming. Zooming on an Atari 2600. 32 bits. Yeah, that would definitely uh keep track of a lot of spinning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, it's almost slowed down back again. There we go. There we go. Sorry for anybody. Oh, timing up. <laughs> so, this is unbelievable. And he doesn't even know if he's going to put this in the game. He's just, you just like, gotta do it and eh. maybe you will, maybe you won't. Something just gets into his head and he just has to do this it. This should be the game. Like <laughs> I know. Like and somehow spin it faster, faster, faster. <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. It makes you wanna like uh uh you know, throw together a little sci fi <laughs> short film and then just have like just these graphics on a screen? No, like just just as your as your your I don't know intro your CG in in it like all <laughs> graphics Atari base graphics all twenty six hundred base yes, graphics yes yes spinning rotating well, you look planets. back at those really old oh they're great <laughs> early CG <laughs> and it's like pretty rough looking some, some of it is yeah the first note of the timeout is exactly my doorbell <laughs> gets me every time RC seventy oh, jumps up every that's single so time funny. so just like astounding. It's amazing. absolutely astounding. It's amazing. Look and, at that. And that it's recognizable yeah. as Earth on this oh, one. Oh, my God. With the different colors. And you can play and Superman and force it to turn back. <laughs> That's right. You're oh, reverse time. turning time backwards. Uh, actually, is that the right way? Or is this the other way the right way? <laughs> <laughs> and then, I can't remember. That's the right way. I think. I don't I even think know so. anymore. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Which way are we spinning? Daytime. Uh, yeah. I can't remember. Anyway, that that's that's super cool. Uh, I love it. Um, so awesome, awesome, Andrew. Uh, I like I said, he's. I don't even know if he's gonna put. He's driving the flat earther nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about perspective. Yeah. Um, so let's get into the first game, Dragon's Descent, by Todd Fermansky, um, aka Reventuli, on the Atari Age forums. Now Sorry. this, <laughs> yeah, you're thinking. I'm like, we're going, yeah. If the sun is here, it's 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 brighter in in the east than it is the west, so it's going that yeah, way. Okay, yeah. okay. Sure. I don't know why that I had to think about that and visualize that in my head. So this we have played on the 2600 before. <laughs> yes. But we have not played on the 7800. Amazingly enough, because it's been out for a little bit. Mm. Uh, it was first posted in 2019. Um, and that's, I think, before we started getting into 7800, so mm. I can see why we might have missed it. Mm. Oh, I'll post the binary for people to check out in the Atari Age thread. There very you go. Cool. You check it out yourself. Very, very cool. Um, so, I'll give you the joystick. And we will... There you go. Start that going. Oh, it did speak. It cool. did, yep. Did you miss anything? Mm -hmm. Um, pretty amazing demo from Andrew Davy there. I was busy playing some XCOM. Uh, okay, so this is Dragon's Descent. He has recently added in Atari Vox support for I it. I heard that. It's wow. in Dragon's Descent in a very low it's, voice. It's a low croaky voice. Right. I like Dragon's it. Descent. And there's like a Dragon's lot of vocal descent. fry. Dragon's Descent. Dragon's Descent. Uh, it's first posted Not on... getting the music or audio here. Oh, it's very low. Let me turn it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And it was also muted. It doesn't help. No, no it's you not help at all. Um, so this build is from July 31st, 2021. So about a week ago. It's a 48k game. Other games he's made? A bunch of dragon games. <laughs> Dragon's Cash, which is the block matching oh, one. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Dragon's Havoc, which is the uh, shooter, side scrolling shooter mm -hmm. with dragons. Uh, Dragon Racer Trials of the Worm, which is a really fun circular um, 
racing game. I, I remember that. Yeah. Yep, we played that once. And uh, of course, Dragon's Descent for 2600 and 7800. It's quite creepy, actually. I don't yeah. Like it. Uh, July thirty first update. I took way too long to getting around to posting a test build with full Atari Vox audio. While well, adding it to the code is pretty easy, it's surprisingly hard to write a script that consists consists of just a few little phrases. A lot of fun, though. I'll probably revise this and play with the voices some more. But I wanted to post a tentative build for the few people with the Atari Vox and a way to play ROMs to try it out, which we're doing right now. Uh, we're playing it on the Dragonfly card. Oh, dragon. Ooh, mm -hmm. playing Dragon's Descent on a Dragonfly. Yeah, very nice. uh, you'll get some talking when starting the game, when you collect a gem, when changing difficulty to hard and back, and a few other places. So let's try change the difficulty to hard. Which, sorry, what was it to? What? Change the difficulty to hard. There? Yeah. You might have some fire in the belly of something. I, I, yeah, I Do it again. <laughs> You might have some fire in, in the, belly the belly after, after all. all. Okay, now turn it off. You win? Okay. You wimp, maybe. You wimp. Yeah. You yeah. wimp. You wimp. You wimp. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's start a game. Okay. You might want to have it in easy mode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not infinite. Not random. Not may select. Just start. Yeah. Oh. Yep, go okay. for it. So. Okay, so that's how much health you have in the bottom right. I can't remember. I think that's your power of your shot. That's your score. I'm going to bring up the instructions so that... So when you shoot somebody, they do go away for a bit, but then they come back. So you get a little bit of a reprieve. So really, you're trying... Don't get that? Okay. What? Um, I said don't get that yet, but... Um, it changes in different things. Yeah. You do have three hearts now. So it's not a bad thing that you got, but you have a choice of different things you can get. You can only go left or right then. You can only shoot left and right. Um, so... Each level of maze is made up of several rooms. You can leave through any exit on the boundaries of the screen you find. So this one is three. Some have four, some have two. Some have... I don't know if any have just one. Can't remember. We'll find out. This one has three as well. Uh, so there's three different power-ups you can get. A gem increases your score. Don't bother getting that. No? Uh, a heart increases your total hit points, which you got. Which is good. It's total hit points. Because then you can get more of those. So you're at your total now. Yeah, gotcha. And a lamp increases the strength of your fire breath while, refu while refilling its supply. So, I remember playing the 2600 version, and you want to have a balance between the hearts and also the power of your shot. Because you do need extra life, because you are going to get hit. There's also that. If you take too long in a maze, it starts flashing and only lighting up when you breathe fire. And then that guy comes who's invincible. Oh! Things you, you should be telling me. Well, ah, you got me. run, run. Where is he? You have to start shooting so you can see, so you can light up the maze. Um, don't stay too long on a single level. You may find things getting much more difficult. Uh, the deeper mm. you explore, the more monsters, dangers, and high scores you find. So don't go slow. You want to go fast. Uh, yes. You want to speed through things. Okay. To square the explosions. Oh, enter the Hall of Records. Yeah, the voice is pretty good. Um, and I'm guessing it saves the score now that he has Atari Vox support? I don't know. Revan Tooley, do you, do you save the score? Um, or is that, uh, or is it just the voices you've added in so far? The explosion are an artifact from the 2600 noise hack based on a bit of the ones used in Yard's Revenge. If you have the Vox, the score should be saved. Oh, excellent. Good, good, good. 
Now wait, wait, wait. Okay. I mean, uh, that is good to get on the first level. Or maybe the breath is. Well, you don't really need two hearts. You do get a lot of hearts, though. So you want to speed. You don't want to... You only really want to shoot things when they're in your way. Because otherwise you're just... So, there's two things you need to find. Okay. One is a key. One is a door. Or a locked door. Um, you need the key first. That key. There you go. Uh, and now you need to find the door, so just start just zooming through levels. And it is made up of a grid. Um, so it doesn't, you know, change, doesn't morph and move around like Dark City or uh, the Cube <laughs> movies. It uh, does stay the same, on the same level. When you go to the next level, there you go. Ta-da! Level 2. The voices are, I originally just, oh, I didn't know this game had voice support in the target boxes that newly has it added. The voices are, I originally just used for saving scores, which is supported easily in 7800 Basic. Oh yeah, there's different types of enemies. Ones that go where you are. Oh wait, I would get the firepower, that one. Yeah. There you go. Now you have super firepower. Oh good, got the key. I guess on the door, yeah. And the key level. Oh, move, move, move. Ooh. That's the guy that ah! goes where you are. So oh keep, my God. keep moving. Keep you moving. Tell me that. I, I did, but no, you weren't you listening. <laughs> I think I did. Now you're very ah. low on health. So you, you probably do want to shoot some of them and get health. See, so do you have the key? Yes, you do. So you're just looking for the exit. Does look good. Very, um, very good conversion from the 2600 version. I mean, 2600 version is amazing. Like it, it has everything that this has. Um, this just has better graphics. Ah, paying attention to where I am. Oh, it's the cat. Keep on moving. Luckily, the they warp in. It looks like a cat to me. Cat with horns. I'm sure, you're supposed to be something else. Um, scoring comes ah. from collecting gems. And defeating monsters. The more you get, more points for defeating monsters in deeper levels, and a slightly higher score for each shot you use with uh, the stronger fire breath. So it's good to. Uh oh, keep on firing now. Because the monsters are in the dark; they don't light up. There you go. Whew. Taking too long. Oh, don't know what that said. Uh, in addition to a key and an exit, each level of the labyrinth has a treasure room. Treasure rooms allow you to pick a one of three power-ups. Just wait until you see the one you want. Probably want health now. Yeah, you don't want to dilly-dally in the levels. Oh, new, new creature. Whoa, that was close. So there is momentum. There is. Um, I remember in the 2600 version, maybe that's on the hard setting that the walls hurt you. Which is not fun. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, oh, lamp refills. Keep moving. Oh, that oh, one shoots. Shoot. Ah, I'm Go. stuck. Stuck in a stuck. wall. Weird. Agree on the NTSC. Uh, no, he has the NTSC 7800, so it has to be the NTSC version. Ah! NTSC, never the same color. Oh, boss! Nice. Did it! Where's the break? There's no There's break! There's no break! <laughs> it just keeps going. <laughs> There's no break for you. Wait, 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 get the heart. No! Oh. Oh. I mean, it's not terrible, but... Oh, key right away. Nice. Good, you got your heart. Refilled again. Oh, nice. I agree on the infamous blue-green for the first level, which is particularly weird. Oh, no, different, different mazy looking areas. Um, okay, your hit points are shown next to the heart icon at the bottom of the screen. Your game will end if the hit points reach zero. Oh, that was close. No, you have to... He, he, he spawns on oh, top of you. Ghost that goes through walls. Oh, oh terrible. No. And they head for you. Great graphics. I love the dinosaurs. Look at 
in this Triceratops. Room. Maybe it's a dragon. I don't, you do kind of get stuck on the walls. Does it have, do the walls have friction? And they... Mm -hmm. even... Oh, key. I kind of got one already. I thought so too. But, levels go pretty fast. Nice. Oh, dead end. Dragon heads, James. Okay, they look like Tristan. Run! Ah! Oh, well, get your heart back. Dragons? Ah, stop it! They don't look like dragons. <laughs> but I mean, I think people speculate. Oh no, you ran out of time. People speculate, I think, that people thought dragon skeletons were. Or, um, dinosaur skeletons were dragons at some point. Oh, now you're red. Turn your last heart. Oh, yeah, get art. Nice. Got a refill. Right Ghosty thing's gonna come soon. He is. He is. It's not gonna be a fun time. Get in. Oh no, your bullets go down. Brutal. Because you're lighting up the screen with your bullets, your special bullets are going down. <laughs> there's no pause. Is there a pause? Well, there's a pause on the oh. on the system. This game is meant to be a callback to the later days of Golden Age of Arcades, 8184. Arcade games aren't supposed to let you rest. They're supposed to eat your quarters. Eat your quarters and as quickly as possible. Work on your stamina. That's right. She's doing pretty good. What level? Oh. Six? Oh, there's the. Uh, I don't have it yet, though. Yeah, so just remember where you were. Mm. It's at the top, right. Ah, You're get full. it. Uh, so it's at the top right and then one over. Maybe it's not the top right. I think the mazes get bigger. There it is. Oh, that's not too bad to backtrack. It's pretty much a single path. There's a color scheme. Different colors, more hit points. Ooh, seven. No, couldn't catch it. <laughs> um, you can find non-flashing hearts and lamps from fallen enemies, which will replenish a small part of your hit points or fire breath, respectively. If you survive long enough, you may reach a maximum amount of hit points or firepower, in which case your health or score will be flashing. So you want firepower, Do probably. I, I don't know. Because you're, you're empty. It'll definitely help with a boss. Uh, does it talk about the bosses in this instructions? It doesn't seem to. Oh no! Get away! Um, Run away! But I mean, boss is a boss. Oh no! Down to two. You need hearts. What is that? He shoots missiles. Oh boy. These guys are definitely coming oh, out. Oh no. no, it's dark time. Did I get a key? Sun has gone down. The game is designed to meant you meant to encourage you to keep moving and not farm points. That's right. So that you can't stay on a level too long because you could just rack up infinite points by shooting. Did you find the exit yet? No. Oh boy. Oh no, did I? Oh boy, I have been reading instructions. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. Boss. At least it's fully lit for the boss. That's not too bad. Oh, the graphics gorgeous on that middle part. <gasps> No! Oh, that was really unfortunate. Ah, sticking. Don't stay on the side when it's about to <gasps> shoot. No. That was a pretty good run, though. That was. Ooh. Hard uh, for the first game to have a soft time light. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you have to keep This going. is really cool. Yes, as for Mary's, it is. Oh. I like it a lot. Oh, put me in, put me in. Doesn't remember the last name. That's okay. That would be good. If it would remember. Because you might be playing it over and over again. 
I like games that remember, I do. remember yeah. your name. So maybe something to think about to put in. But how would you do it? You could flash the first character and just go do, 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 enter, enter, enter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be mean a reworking of the way this is entered in. But... No, no, no. I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, oh, <laughs> retried that maze. Yes, I retried the maze. So when I died the first time, I redid the oh, same maze. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't get notice past... notice that. I didn't get past level one, so it, it didn't really... So let's check out hard mode. <laughs> You're gonna try hard mode? Yeah, I, oh, I, I fire think. Fire in the if belly. You touch it... the walls. <gasps> yeah, I'm just gonna die. No. I, I didn't want to do that. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Oh, it's 1001 on hard mode. Okay. Well. You do have a little bit of. Are you in hard mode? Terrible. Why did I do that? I'm gonna die. Oh. Because that was a mistake. I ran right into it. I want heart. Yes, especially in hard mode. Oh, oh my goodness, yeah. Is the maze the same? I think it is. It looks uh, the same. It's is it based on the number at the beginning? Because it yeah. actually gives like a binary number. It does, so that you can um, retry there you go. the maze. It's so much harder than hard mode. Well, yeah, because you can't bounce it around the, on the walls. Yeah. I think you have to go this way. You can cheese it by going in and out. To same move. number seed, same maze. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I make a whole different maze for hard mode. There you go. Level one is done. So they're all the same. Like, if you play the game again without being randomized, mm. you get the same mazes. Oh, squeakies. Is that cat expecting treats now because we're playing games? It's a, it's a great upgrade for uh, the challenge for hard mode to make it so you can't touch the walls. Um, definitely presents more of a challenge. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just died. You can select different mazes, so you have competition with a random maze to keep it fair by having folks compete on an unknown maze. Yes, that is true. So you can program... God damn it. I need help. You need help? Yeah. Kill uh, a few things? I, got, I died twice, yeah. Uh, oh, right to the wall. Ah. Hard. Hard, hard, hard. Yeah. Rage reset. <laughs> Gonna ring it? Oh, it goes to level one again. Yeah. When you retry. Yeah. Oh, I thought it would go back to the level I was on. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'll, tr I'll start from the beginning then. That's fine. No! Oh, it's hard. Stolen? He almost did. It. It's for a fix. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a bad kitty. Bad snacky cat. <laughs> Hey, Arena Foot. Yeah, he told me that he is able to watch today. Normally, he's not able to watch on Tuesdays, he says. It's a, it's a... And then he's like, oh, 7800 day. <laughs> oh. It's not as into the 7800 okay. as the 2600. Excellent. Level 2. Can you read? How what are the additional features in the 7800 version besides the lovely graphics? I think it's just graphics. Uh, the other one didn't have Atari Vox. <gasps> Careful. It's so sensitive. So it does have Atari Vox support? Oh, yes, Ramirez. Is he leaving or coming? No, he just he, he arrived just before. Um... Ah. Hey, yeah. yes, Ramirez. Good kid. Why does Pixel get a good kitty? Uh, he's, he's just a good kitty. Uh, I don't know. He was biting me today. When I moved him off the couch. Or moved <laughs> okay, him out of the room. Okay, dang, 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 dang. <laughs> dang, dang, dang. Oh, nice. oh, because oh, I have powerful shots. Got him in one. Oh. 
<laughs> dang, 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 dang. That's what we say now when we want something. Ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Give me. Ding, ding. Oh, God. Where's my dinner? Ding, ding, ding. You can cheese it. Yeah. By, by, you can go, th if you're going straight through a level. Oh, Jesus. So hard. Um. Right enough, it says ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, watch this. Okay, so I, I don't like what's on there. I just yeah. go back out. And I, you can zoom Pretty quick. through the whole level if it's straight. And if avoid, it's straight. And yeah. avoid the enemy. Oh, Arena Foot had two bacon McDoubles for dinner. Oh, geez. That's pretty equivalent to a cat treat, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you had your cat treat. Yes. Wow, on a single playthrough, you'll go through around 20, 260 mazes before repeating. Wow. <laughs> I don't think anyone has survived anywhere near that long, yeah. Hard mode! Killed the boss, and now Good I'm gonna job. die for sure, because you have to be so careful moving around. Really? So two bacon McDoubles is cheaper than a bacon quarter pounder? That doesn't seem right. McDonald's hacks, eh? Yeah! <laughs> Arena ah, foot! Damn it! Okay. That, that does sound like a McDonald's hack. Sure, I'll put my score in this time. It's a half decent one. Mm. Mm. There we go. Okay, let's check out the other features. Okay. Um, so there's infinite maze, let's put on easy mode. Um, so I think, I think this does, just keeps wrap going around? forever. Or does it wrap around? But it does start with the normal one, so I'm just gonna die. No, but I mean, does it wrap around? Like you, you go right around. Like, oh, Is I that what don't... it means by infinite maze? No, I think it just goes forever and it's not a game oh i see there's it's not no a set game there's no bosses, no bosses? Or, i think infinite maze will keep going after level seven okay. oh so there's an end to the game okay gotcha okay um random maze probably does what it says oh there we go Ooh. maze number seventy six thousand one hundred ninety. so if you have memorized the mazes this would be a good one challenge and is it four by four how big are the mazes Revan tool I've forgotten five by five six by six obviously <laughs> seven we counted seven. ourselves <laughs> seven by seven eight by eight nine by nine <laughs> this looks like six I really really eight. like the dragon um sprite oh, you do get stuck you do, you do, you get stuck. I was trying to go to the you're, right you're there, and I couldn't. Uh, on corners, you get kind of stuck on corners. Oh, you don't obviously have don't have to keep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, let me try and get stuck again. You kind of get stuck on the corners. So I thought I, I was like here, and I could not go left. Yeah, no, no, I've, I've, I've had that. Um, If you hit a room, oh, are you trying to die? If you hit a room <laughs> where there's stuff in the middle, like those, oh, those bull's heads, or whatever. Oh, well, That, yeah. I get, you get stuck on those corners, I find. Yeah, but... Like the corner. I was talking about a straightaway. Like no, but I it was like stuck. a... No, but you got stuck on a corner, going around a corner. Mm. Yeah, I, I think so. I, that's not what I want to try. Like there. I can't press down right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I can't go up or down. Is my nose, it's because my nose is there? Oh, maybe. It's stuck. Oh, yes, because my nose was too far into it. Interesting. Interesting. Like, how did I get that, though? Mm. How did I do that? Eight by eight grid, but each level only uses a small number of possible rooms. Hmm. Like, I can't replicate. Oh, no, I did it. I did it again. I'm stuck in the wall. Mm. I can't go up or down. I can go left, but... Mm. But how did I do it? Like at an angle. Yep, up angle. Up and to the right. You get stuck in a wall. But you have to have a sufficient speed, it seems. No. I don't know. 
know. I don't know. It's random. It's very random. Game glitch. <laughs> a bit of one. Yeah. Good one to try and hunt down. Because it's hard to exactly replicate it, though. Mm. Can't do it. Mm -hmm. Just sometimes. So, I can review the footage and how, how where exactly I, I started from. Anyway. Some to look into. Um, so... Okay, I'll just make the balls lethal again. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, go back to the beginning and check out. Not random. So we've done all this. Turn off the music. Sure. May select. So up, down, does the mm. first three digits. Oh, you move over. Okay. Then you can go... How many can you do? Oh, you have to go up. There is no wraparound. Atari 2600 dude says, you can tell James is a beta tester. Yeah. <laughs> he loves... Try all the things. Loves the beta testing. And he gets very excited <laughs> when I find something. Yes. <gasps> glitch. glitch. Yeah. <laughs> I found a glitch. It's like finding that little <laughs> Easter egg, you know? Yeah. It's like, I got a glitch. Amazingly enough, I'm terrible at finding Easter eggs. <gash> yeah. So well, Easter eggs can be hard. 255 probably, I'm guessing. Yep, 255. Nice. So, 255, 255. You're going to go right to the top? Yeah, let's do the last maze. Nice. The Z, S, S, Z, Z, Z. So now there's... Now we can hear the, the shots. Deaths. Oh, key already. Yay, complete the last level! <laughs> Funny. Uh, also, my blog on how I generate the maze. Oh, very cool. There are a few Easter eggs in the game. I wonder what they are. Usually those Easter eggs are in the menu. Cause... Could be picking a, a level, a certain levels. Oh, could be, yeah. Uh, yeah. Patch awarded, lol. <laughs> Patch <laughs> yeah. awarded, yeah. That uh, would be the easiest patch. Yeah. Like, sometimes they're like, oh, you have to hold left, put music on five times, <laughs> and then start the game, and it's yeah. like, yeah, you get infinite lives. Something like that. And it's like, oh, how am I ever supposed to figure that out? Yeah. <laughs> you have to f try so many things. Uh, but excellent, excellent game. Uh, great conversion for the... Um, Reverend Tuli says, I don't think everyone has found everything. Folks did find some secrets in the high score competition on the 2600 version. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Up, down, left, right, A, B, A, B. <laughs> Up, down, left, right. That's the one always to try. Yeah. Try first. Is it going to misbehave? This of is course cute. It's gonna misbehave. Nobody can see it yet. It's cute. <laughs> giving them a sneak preview. It's cute. A sneak uh, description. Description. I have to. Reboot it. Oh, the retro, the the retro <gasps> tink can't no. come, come soon enough. The retro tink? Yeah. The new one? Yeah. Ugh. It's every time it cuts out when I'm rebooting the 7800, not the 2600, Weird. just the 7800. Oh, now it looks terrible. Oh, drop it. Let's see if that works. Yep. Yay. Okay. Well, I didn't crash. Thank goodness minor so we're gonna play p-o-e-t-i-r-u Puer puerti puerti puertiru poet i-r-u <laughs> poet <Potero>? i-r-u <laughs> i'm not sure potiro 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 okay Potero. love the shirt yeah. put... oh that's Duran two... Duran's going down well today yeah. two thumbs up on the shirt there <laughs> there was a thumbs down somewhere in there though <gasps> how dare they <laughs> And I am wearing an Activision shirt in honor of the Amico Delay. The Amico <laughs> Delay. Oh, it must have been his shirt someone was commenting on then. Oh, the down? The down vote? No, there oh. was there was some comments. Oh, okay. Atari 2600, but I, I missed I missed the uh, full context of oh. it. But uh, it could be the Amico, uh, the Intellivision. Yeah, it's delayed. Indefinitely? Indefinitely. There's no date. Mm. Um, and they also kind of revealed what the cartridges are 
they're, they're, they're unfortunately I won't be buying the Amico because of this. Oh yeah. Because I was thinking, oh okay, if the game is on cartridges, the cartridge or whatever they're distributing, yeah. little cards, then I'd be like, cool, I'll yeah. buy it because I can own that forever. Yeah. I, I'm very adverse to stuff that's gonna not work. After. Digital things yeah. that disappear after your system crashes and their server crashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's really just a code mm -hmm. that downloads the game from their server. That's oh. all it is. Oh, I see. And you get a fancy box for it, so... Mm. Eh. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just go with Steam. If it's going to be like that, there's infinite games on there. Mm. So, you know, because if in television in, the 19, in 1979 did that, yeah. none of the games would work now. Mm -hmm. Because that's all true. those servers would have been shut down, that's very and the true. cards wouldn't be able to download anything. Yeah, that's true. Therefore useless yeah yeah it's no good in the apocalypse <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> okay apocalypse planning code in a box that's what this is all it about is. yeah yeah apocalypse planning so we can play video games afterwards you just need power that's it yeah um Solar so panels. this is po puerto poetiru 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 by sebastian mihai uh it's from 2015 a 32k game he also made snappy for the 2600 shooting gallery for the 5200 mm. and tons of other games for tons of other platforms um this was not posted in the atari age forums at all so you can start playing very simple it's okay. a second button for some reason to start you have to collect all the cupcakes that's it and that's it and on level zero there are zero enemies oh i see on level one there's one enemy all the way up to level nine um, when I posted we were playing this game, um, S. Ramirez said, cute game, and he posted he thought he won the game. Of course. So he posted level 9, the end of level 9. So now we have to get to the end of level 9. So I'll let you play as far as you can go, and then I'll try to uh, go like further. You're, you're running running away from the uh, DVD symbols on the... They are. They have no mind. They're just bouncing. Just... They're like... Uh, will it hit a corner? <laughs> will it hit... Yep. You're running away from COVID. Oh, look, my God! Don't they look like... Oh, my uh, God, they do look like... <laughs> the news representation of COVID that they always use. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Yeah. In Puerto Ru... Puerto Ru? Puerto Ru? Puerto Ru. Uh, an Atari 7800 homebrew game. The player controls a brown bear who must eat four bouncing cupcakes. Oh, they are bouncing. Yep. You're up to level five or six? Six. Six. Oh. Five. No. Five. five. That's There's only five of them. It's not a ah! good. It's not ah! a good five. No, it has to be a six. It has to be no. a six. No. One, two, three, no, four, five. No, there's zero on level one. So there's zero on level one. And then there's one on level one. One on level two. No. No, zero? there wasn't. There was zero on level zero. No. One on level one. Oh, it's, two no, on it started two. at level one, didn't it? Started level zero. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Never mind. Avoid the COVID. Yep. You can do it, James, S. Ramirez said. <laughs> I'll give it a try. It's it's a very crowded screen on level Oh, nine. my God. Those COVID get you fast. Oh, yeah. It's like this the, poor bear needs his vaccinations. He has no vaccination and no, no mask. No. He is very no. vulnerable. Someone mask this bear. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, there are nine levels to clear, each level featuring an additional enemy. At the beginning of each level, the bear is invulnerable and cannot move <laughs> until the player presses the fire button to begin. Use this to your advantage to wait for a gap until the enemy's movement. When did this come out? Obviously, not... 2015. Oh, okay. Oh, but, man. But I mean, all viruses kind of look like that, right? <laughs> all the evil this viruses. This is really hard now. Harder than I would have ah, expected. Poetaru is a word I invented while sleeping in a dream. I was dreaming that I was talking to another person and explaining that in... S <laughs> hey! It's so hard. In some foreign language, Puerto means story. This foreign language is something I made up, of course. However, I think Puerto is adapted from the real, wor real word povestir, which is Romanian for story or short story. So, guide your brown bear to each of the four cupcakes before moving on to a harder level. Ah. It was featured in the retro gaming magazine in Great Britain, in print, issue 145. Nice. Each level introduces a new enemy, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, 
Uh, when I posted we're playing it, Esmeralda posted a screenshot of him completing the game. Nine out of nine. Of course, him saying, Puerto is a cute game. <laughs> Puerto Roo. Puerto Roo. Oh, you're now on level six. Uh, Good job. I don't think there's there are lives. Uh, no, it's infinite. It's infinite. Is, so you just keep going until you get to level nine. Because, I mean, it's hard as it is. Because this poor bear has gotten COVID multiple times at this point. Cupcakes to survive in this game. It was Twinkies in Zombieland. Ah. Make, make it makes complete sense. Ah. Esmeralda says you can do it, Tanya. Oh, I'm it's sure one. I can. It's one. It's infinite, oh. so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I'm the wrong button. There's a good spot there. Go! Left! Up! No! Oh, to the right! You're almost done, Stan! Oh! Uh. No. Where's the ding-dongs? Yeah, this game has no <laughs> has no sound, so don't expect uh. any sound. Oh, man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> you kind of have to get them when they're... They, they do have some... Ah! <laughs> they are big. Yeah, they're, they're as big as you are. If only COVID were so big, you could see it coming. You could stab it. Uh, oh, you could do it. Uh, One more. Uh, oh. No. <laughs> Six is apparently quite difficult. It's only four more levels. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh. Uh. Okay, I need to, like, my hands hurt. No, it's just. <laughs> no. I feel like he's not fast enough. He you can do it. Yes. No. One more. Yes, go to the center. Yay! <laughs> Seven! Three more levels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go. Oh! oh. Ah. <laughs> it's a very cute game. It is very cute. It's so simple, but also hard. <laughs> oh, oh, go, go, go! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! No! Oh, <laughs> oh so close! There you go. Oh. No, you get cornered sometimes because of the bounce. They're all grouped. There's four of them grouped together. Oh, you reset it. It's okay. Oh, this is a good one. No, it's not. Oh, it was. They were all no. so grouped. No, because they were going to bounce. and. Fun party game. Yeah, this is a game that anyone can understand immediately. There's no complexity to it. But at the same time, it's really hard. Well, it's it's there's so much going on at the same time. It's oh my god, it's really cute. Easy to understand, hard to play. Easy to what is it? Easy to play, hard to master. That is that is this type of game. Oh 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 no! Don't go no! That guy's coming. <laughs> should have stayed behind. I know. It's hard. Oh, each level should have a different little Debbie snack. Oh, that'd be a good uh, twist on it. No. Yes, they're all grouped. Stop! No! Corner. There you go! Go, 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 go! Oh. <laughs> Two levels left! <laughs> and Swiss rolls. <laughs> I think I think we're all getting hungry now. Yeah, for snacks. Can I like go up and bake some cinnamon buns after this? <gasps> oh. Okay. Actually they kind of no, look like turn. cinnamon buns. Are you gonna do eight and nine? Yep. <laughs> oh hoes and ding dongs. What were they? Coconut balls or whatever? What were the or snowballs? Snowballs. I too fast. Nine. You have to do nine now. First try. Wasn't it nine? Yep. You have to do nine, right? I know, but I did eight in the first try. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I'm sometimes celebrating. You get, sometimes you get lucky. Uh huh. Yeah. Sometimes you get lucky. Uh huh. Yeah. No skill involved, right? None. See? Oh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs were pink coconut covered. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves a treat. Or get ourselves some snacks. Some snacks. Or get ourselves a treat. No, that sounds right. Somewhere white. Mm. Uh, Oatmeal cream fresh. pies. Mm. Oatmeal cream or, pies. Um, Joe Louis, and uh, if you're from uh, Montreal, Montreal, Quebec. What is it? Joe Louis. And what are they? They're just. Uh, I think they call them moons or half moons or something. Yay! Love mine. Treat is correct. Crossbow. Treat. Says. Okay. Yeah. That's Excellent. Okay. Treat. I did it. Where's my patch? <laughs> 
combined patch. Combined. Level, up to level seven. I did eight and nine. It wasn't as hard as I thought. <laughs> I mean, you do... If they're all bouncing independently, you're done. But if you get some... You have get to some... kind of get them to group a little bit yeah. and then run around them. Yeah. Would, would, would pl play again, yes. Mm, yeah, I'd it's play it again. It's pretty cute. I actually think I would have other people play it because it's pretty I'd, fun I'd to recommend play. it to other people. Yeah. I'd play it uh, maybe once more, a couple times more. <laughs> Because it is different every time because of the bouncing. Yeah. The randomness. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a... Uh, a food. A food kick, right? Yeah. We should play Pac-Man. Yeah, that's that's definitely food. Mm. Okay. That's the end of this. It's do that's it. <laughs> we beat it. It's pretty cute, though. And it's very cute. I like it, yeah. yeah. Arcade, 80s arcade in a good way. Yeah. I mean, you could, you could switch it up by having more or less different treats. Yeah. Scrolling screens. That'd be a bit... More. I think you could you could trade up the enemies or the treats. The movement really of the enemies so they don't just bounce. Some of them have a bit more yeah. erratic. Yeah. Yeah. And That's have less of cute. them but a bit more erratic. Like yeah. some go But it's still like still not easy to do. I, I think it's pretty Oh it's not. It's, it's not easy yeah. to do. Not impossible. Far from impossible. Arena Food is guilty for starting the food talk. Is Talking it? about his Was it his fault? His bacon McDoubles. Oh, it was his fault. <laughs> Hoobigs. I don't know what that is. Hoobigs pies? Never heard of them. No. Hoobigs? Hoobig? Hubig? It's all his... Uh... Is this some some New York uh, chain? Well, he's not from New York. He's from... The D-Train? Brooklyn? Oh. The D-Train. Oh, he said that? Yeah. Hoobigs pies. Local oh. to New Orleans. Ah, New Orleans, gotcha. yeah. Okay. That's... okay, it is time for Moon Cresta. Mm. Moon Cresta. I don't know why I said it like that. Moon Cresta. <laughs> but first we're going to take a look at the arcade version of it. Um, so we can compare yeah, pies, and yeah. contrast. I don't know if we... We don't get a lot of the Little Debbie items. Crossbow. Canada has very different stuff. We have some different snacks. Like, yeah, I don't think we get Little Debbies. I don't think we've had Little Debbies. We get things like Twinkies sometimes. Yeah, we get Twinkies. There are a few of those, but... Oh, that's going to be... Probably very loud. There we go. Let's just turn it down. Okay, so this is the arcade version. We do eat a lot of donuts here, though. Yeah, donuts are donuts awesome. are very, yum, very, yum, yum, very, yum, yum, very yum. popular. Twinkies are hostess. Yeah, we get hostess. We do I don't, get hostess stuff. We get we get hostess stuff, but Little Debbie. I think that's more of an American chain. Um. So Moon nice. Cresta. Nice. Uh, is from 1980. It's a shoot 'em up video game released by Nichibutsu. Mm. Wow. Never heard of that company. Uh, in North America, it was licensed to Sega, Gremlin, and Centauri, the latter releasing it in arcades as Eagle, so it was known mm. as a different name, uh, as well as Moon Cresta. In Incentive Software published ports of Moon Cresta for Amstrad, CPC, Commodore 64, Dragon 32, and ZX Spectrum. Um, I didn't have this on my Commodore 64. I would have loved it. I think so. Yeah. I love the color of it, too. Those oh, little... it's really nice. That yeah. definitely early 80s look, the pastel-y, yes. bright, bright neon pastel -y colors of the arcade games then. Um, so this does have multiple ship combinings. Not quite like... Not uh, like Galaga. Not quite like Galaga, but you do get multiple really... shots by combining. Like you get a single... And then yeah. a double by combining your ship. And you dock them together. Um, so the port was made wow. by uh, Bob DeCrescenzo, Pac-Man Plus, in 2011. First posted about it July. And then the final build that we're going to be playing is November. And it was released shortly after that. Mm. Um, so let's play it. I'll pause this. There we go. Switch back to the 7800. Boom. I'll play Pac Man Plus's version of it. So, skill level. I think there's easy and hard and two players, but we'll just play one player on okay. probably easy normal? first. Easy? Well, maybe normal. Well, I'll start with easy. Yep. I, I know I've played Moon Cresta, but. So, 2011, know. Bob Decker's Enzo. Okay. Oh, there, thank you. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Quite the pattern. I haven't hit anything yet. Ah, ah, oh my goodness, they're so cool. Ah, they split apart oh like uh, like in, beautiful. in Phoenix. Yeah, they're really gorgeous. I am bad at this game. And obviously he did an amazing job at, at porting it over to the 7800. Because it looks just incredible. The enemies, the movement, the star field, uh, the expansion of the enemies coming up. Sounds like Satan's Hollow. It does a little. A little. Yes, the little, little, little like yeah. that, that, that noise. Oh, I want to play Satan's Hollow now. We do have it up for the PS2 upstairs, yeah. yeah. We don't have the special control. But... Ah! Oh, this is easy? Oh my goodness, these guys are really hard Did to get. Did you hit. put on easy? Yes! Well, they're not shooting at you, That's so... That's true, that is very true. Yes. I love, the, I love the patterns they make, and the colors. Captain 2D says, I own this. It is very difficult. This is very clearly yeah. easy. I think they, they said they're this... not shooting, so I guess no. they shoot in normal mode. And maybe they delay, delay the shooting while well, they do dive for you. They do. After doing the developer spotlight on Bob, um, I definitely want to get all his games on cartridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're all so good. Okay, yeah. you have to dock now. Hey, 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 you have to dock. Dock. What? Oh, what? How? When am I docking? Well, the two ships. And use the button. Oh. Well, that. Uh, use the button for what? To, uh, to slow down. I've never done it, so... <laughs> I haven't down? played this yet. You're the one who played it the most. Me? Yeah, when we're doing the... Uh, oh, yeah, we were. The... Doing the interview. Um, each round, uh, the classic arcade game Mooncrest uh, now has made its way to Atari 7000. You have to control your descent and not crash into the other ship, Crossbow says. Uh, that one is even more difficult since it has invisible enemies in it. only messed up version is on the anniversary card. Green brains. Green cabbages. Okay, let's try it again. Well, did you actually lose your ship because you didn't dock? Yeah. Oh, wow. It is like Galaga. Oh my god. Uh, that you need to practice. So Sorry, no bonus. Now you only have your third ship bigger too yeah but you have two shots instead of the one yeah but still bigger target yeah uh avoid each round consists of 10 waves of enemies aliens and two sets of docking sequences provide you have a ship left to dock with every two waves of aliens have different entrance sequences attack sequences and point values after you eliminate the first wave of aliens, if you have any ships in reserve, you'll give them the opportunity to dock with your next ship. Far out. Uh, successfully docking. They may have still been saying that in, 19, in 1980. Far out, man. Uh, successfully docking gives you increased firepower, but also gives aliens a bigger target to aim for. You're given another chance to dock after the next four waves of aliens, as long as you have another ship in reserve. Still not firing your ship. No, I, I don't think they fire at all. And easy. Well, I've already lost two ships, so still hard on easy. Yeah, in the docking. The bonus. It's just like Zookeeper. It's you like can a, lose you lives die, in the you bonus. You die in the bonus, which is just wrong. Uh, skill levels. As you pass each round of ten waves of aliens, the gameplay starts over and the difficulty increases. So after the tenth wave, you probably go to the normal mode. The aliens are more and more likely to re-emerge from the bottom of the screen after passing the player's ship. The attack pattern becomes more varied and uh, difficult to maneuver around. That's what I was wondering, Nostalgia. Can you just choose to not dock and keep the ship in reserve? I, it's a question I don't know, because I haven't played this game. But I'm sure somebody in the chat would know that. 
Great graphics. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Stunning graphics. I love, I love the patterns, too. They feel very mathematical in their movement and mm. symmetric. And I, I, there's something about that that's very, very pleasing. Ah, he came from behind. They lure Lupin. Sometimes they disappear. But... Okay, my turn. Okay. Read the uh, difficulty levels. Skill levels? Yep. Easy. The aliens are slower and start out unable to reemerge under the player's ship once they pass below it. Ah, see, that's why I, I didn't think they were going to come out for me. Uh, normal. The aliens move at the standard speed and increase how often they reemerge under the player's ship after passing below it. Hard. The aliens again move at the standard speed, but they often reemerge under the player's ship after passing below it. Attack patterns are more varied and unpredictable. Jesus. After the first round, the final alien in each wave moves much faster. Hmm. Crashed into the last guy on that level. Oh, he's still alive! Oh my god. He crashed into me and he survived? Oh my god! <laughs> Just dive bomb for me. So are you using a Tink 5 with a uh, 5X with the 7800? Are you asking me? I don't have my Tink 5X yet. I it's wish. not come yet. No, on his website he says end of August. Oh yeah. Possibly. Oh my god. So, a couple weeks. Look at that. Oh my oh, god. They, they do emerge Can you from put underneath. This somewhere else? No, I'm gonna it's annoying it. me. My turn. Don't put it right beside me. Things right beside me touching oh, my so leg hard. drive me crazy. So hard. It's so hard to focus when something's touching your leg. Yes, like this. It's like, like that. <laughs> Just barely touching you. Annoying you. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome They're to normal lot. level. They're a lot faster. Oh my god, it's brutal. A wow. lot harder to dock in this than Astro Blaster. Oh, yeah. Astro Blaster was fairly easy to dock. Like it looks like the bullets are going right through them sometimes. This guy's coming back. Oh, he didn't come back. Okay. I think I want to play it on easy next time. <laughs> Practice a bit. I'm trying to do. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, that went through him. Swear to God, that's what happens sometimes. Yep. Look at that. Whoa, they just dive for you. You're doing better than me. Oh, Whoa, two of them. Usually you're pretty safe in that corner, but... Hard mode sends actual spaceships to your house. <laughs> yeah, I think so. They come for your cats. Yeah. Hey, ah. shoot. Games don't give you for free. Oh, um, well, I killed bullets. them both. I did it via suicide, but that's okay. I'm doing easy. easy. <laughs> I'm doing easy. This is way too hard. Oh my god. I want to at least see some different levels. Oh, or or I'm just terrible at this. What says is going you must on? try this with the pain line, pain line control. Oh god, no. <laughs> Those are put no. away never to come out. Never to come out ever again. I have so many better better options <laughs> than those terrible joysticks now. A little hint, when you start a new level, mm -hmm. shoot for the center. Oh, yeah. Because they all just come out of they the do. center. Well, what? they're not exactly there. in the same place. I just place. killed, like, Oh, for a new, a new wave, you mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Because they they emerge, at least right now, they emerge from the center. Pain line controller is the actual hard mode. Oh, God. down okay let's see how this works like your ship's so drifting and he hit the button oh you did it you right on right on so okay quad shots now pretty good Oh yeah, this is the way to do it. I'm... <gasps> right what into the you. hell? They emerged right Insta. next to you? Insta. At least you don't lose all both ships. Yeah. Like in Galaga. Oh yeah. So that's that's pretty good. Oh my god. What the hell are they doing? That's so unfair. What is happening? No, that's what they do. Really? Yeah. On this level? Yeah. 
Oh my god. You're, you're an easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they did. They kind of come out of nowhere. Terrible. Brutal. These guys aren't too bad. They just go straight down. I was going to say, uh, Bezos is sending his ships after you. That's right. <laughs> Does look like his ships. Oh He's my. got his space fleet. His space fleet. Uh -oh. like, you have not ordered enough Amazon products. <laughs> You need more Amazon subscribers on your Twitch screen. That's right. <laughs> Prime subscribers. More Prime subscribers. Brightly colored. Too. It is so bright. Oh, it's an easy. I'm able to play for a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit more of the game. Yeah. We'll go back to. We'll go back to normal. normal, and then hard. Does this game have a final level? I think it just keeps going I, up. I think from the instructions, it sounds like it just gets harder after every ten waves. It just makes it. There's no room. Urgh. What are we going to do? Normal? Normal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it said after every ten waves, it repeats the same uh, enemies and just harder. Let me look again. Ten waves, yeah. The gameplay starts over and the difficulty increases. The aliens are more and more likely to re-emerge from the bottom of the screen after pla passing the player's ships. So, you see where they go off the screen. Where are they getting so <laughs> Like, they're oh not God. looping around yet, but they will. Whoa. Oh God. Just dive ah! <laughs> Dive bomb you. You have to kill them early. Woo. Oh, D-Train's off. Thank you for joining. Bye, D-Train. Explosion sprite looks at this as the same one in Galaga. Hmm. Made by different companies, so... Oh, oh my Lord. I mean, it's a general explosion. Lines coming out. Clouds. general space, space explosion. Is this the first one? Yes. Oh my terrible, god. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I, I did really... I need to go back to easy. I keep running into it. Oh my god. That was bad. Okay, I need I need something. More Let me try normal. Oh, it is. Oh, the studio lights. Uh... Oh, I'm not hitting anything. Hit something. Oh my god, that was close. Jesus, they dive bomb for you and then they follow you horizontally along the bottom of the screen. There's no escape. This must have been a quarter eater, this game. Oh my god, get out of here. Look at that. How do you even avoid that? around, I avoided him, he went back up and then then went right for me. Oh my god. This is on normal. This would be like what the arcade would be like. Usually what developers set normal to. Jesus. Okay, let's just look at hard. And then we'll go back to normal and keep practicing on that. Brutal. Brutal. This is hard. They are faster. And he says that they'll come back and loop around. Pff, brutal. The video showed uh, part of earlier was tw over 20 minutes long. Could it have been one play? Um, yeah, it was, it was a single play arcade version. Um... A lot of those long play videos, what they do is just make themselves invulnerable or they use save states, unfortunately. But they're meant to show the game off, and if the person's not good at the game, it's going to be hard to show every 
I mean, if your channel is dedicated to long plays, you're either awesome at every game ever created, which is hard to do, um, or you're cheating. And a lot of them either use save states, or they have uh, collisions turned off sometimes, I notice. Uh, come on! I'm making it further. <laughs> Not much further. Oh, come on. There we go. Shoot for the center! Oh, I've got a bunch of them. Brutal. <laughs> Made it to level three on... Oh, on hard! Oh, I was on hard. Okay. Was on hard? Yeah. Wow. Okay, I thought it was... I thought it was on normal. Well, that's good practice. Nostalgic says the video you showed part of earlier was only 20 minutes long. Could it have been one play? Yeah, I was just talking about that. Wow. Uh, where they often cheat on long plays. Oh, long they plays. do. Yeah, yeah. And for good reason. They want to show the game. They yeah. want to show the game, and they're not perfect at every game. It actually gets more tense as you lose more ship, because the one's larger than before. Yeah. The only advantage is you get two, two bullets shots. on your second ship, but the third ship doesn't really give an advantage over the sec no, second No, the ship. second ship is kind of the best ship. It is. Small, but two bullets. And it's not often that the... Got you from behind. It's not, it's not often that the game makes it easier as you die. They usually make it harder. It's like head up. Yeah. He's a bad cat. <laughs> He's not He's chewing your cubes. Not yet. Not yeah. yet. He's still looking for them. Come on. Looking for the chewiest one. No, he's looking for treats at the moment. He's more interested in the cat treats. Come on up. Oh, oh he man. protests. He's not in pain. He's just... Silly cat. He's, he's. There you go. It's like, do not interfere with me. This game is very hard. I would say easy is the level that I'm happy with. I can play easy. Yeah. <laughs> Normal, I have not been very successful at. Oh gosh. I swear, like, if you hit them in the fluff. In the fluff. They, they, they don't die. You have to hit they're, them right in the middle. Look, I've already, I've already, I, I want to rage reset already, but I won't because I need to practice. They're outer fluff. They're outer fluff. They're like a cat. They just condense. See? Yeah. That one. Look. Huh? Your two shots went right again. I right know. Through they him. go through the fluff. Like they went around him. Look at that again. Wow. You have to hit them right in the middle. Yeah, their hit their hitbox is, is really small. Really I think small. That's one of the reasons they're so challenging. Oh. Just gonna kill ya. He's deadly. Right into me. Ooh. This game is so, so brutal. So challenging. Uh, it's a good question. I don't think it does. But I Age reset. know infinite more about the 2600 than I do the 7800. What is, what is a crest at? Good question. Good question. We know James what a moon is, but do we know what a crest is? is? Right into me! <laughs> that was a short Oh my level. god. What were you doing in there? He's not doing anything. You know. Cresta. What is a Toyota Cresta? <laughs> well, what, what does the software uh, Cresta do? It's a made up word, apparently. Sounds like... There's a game called Soul Cresta. Really? Like S-O-L. Uh, I love the music on this, though. Yeah, it's very good music. Cresta, definition. I don't think it's an English word. Cresta? It does sound like it's an oh. astronomical word. Oh, it's, it's the comb. It's the crest of some birds. The Cresta. Okay. Uh, it's a valid, <laughs> it's a valid Scrabble word. A valid Scrabble word. 
Uh, perhaps applied to a topographical name for someone who lives by the crest of a mountain. Or a nickname with reference to a comb of a, of a rooster. Oh. So somebody who lives uh, uh, by the crest of a mountain. That's a cresta. A person. This is not related to uh, moons. I think it's more of the crest of a bird because all these enemies have like little fluffs. You think so? They all have fluffs. Little out jets of... The crest. So what do they say about like a mountain cresta? Somebody lives by the crest of a mountain. They're a cresta. But they look, live on a crest. All, the, all of them have little little comb-like things off of them like rooster. Rooster little. I mean, I don't know. In Spanish, the, is, is the rooster crest. Okay. So it's probably means it comes from Spanish. Logo still looks like Presta. Yeah. Presta. <laughs> it does. The C is a very long underscore. Whoa. Oh my god, he's so big. Ooh. One more. You can play after that. Okay. I feel like I'm slowly getting better. It's such a slow process. Mm -hmm. uh, crown of Feathers. Summit. Peak. Nautical crest of a wave. <gasps> so, yeah, the crest of something. I mean, the moon crest would be the outer edge of the moon. Maybe. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. Hey, nice. okay, Pixel, you come to play Moon Cresta? Come up. I was thinking. Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Grumpy Cat! Yeah, he's a bit grumpy. He's always grumpy. Hi, Grumpy, he's licking my arm. Oh. Am I sweaty? Am I grumpy full of, except am I like a, isn't. a gigantic salt lick right now? Yeah. It's very warm. Oh. Now you can tell your story. My story? Well, yeah. it's not a very good story. Well, it's a story. I woke up this morning, got in my car, drove about 10 minutes, hit something in the HOV lane of the highway, burst out a tire. While changing lanes. While changing lanes. Got off the highway, pulled over, waited four hours for a tow truck to arrive. So I essentially spent four hours in my car, and then finally they told me when they were going to come. And I was a 10 minute walk from Costco, so I had a lovely uh, uh, $1.50 Costco hot dog for lunch. And then I came back home. <laughs> but um, yeah, it took a really long time because of course it was right in rush hour. And I wasn't like blocking, I got off the highway so I wasn't, you know, in immediate danger or anything like that. But yeah, no it took forever. Um, it destroyed the tire. Destroy the tire. Yeah. Like, I hit something, heard it bang, and then heard a noise that sounded like air escaping, but I wasn't quite sure if it was the music, because I was playing music really loud in the car in my drive-in, and you're like, is that the music, or am I losing air in the tire? And then the, the system came on and said, oh, uh, your air pressure is decreasing, ding, and then ding, it ding, would ding. tell you, like, ding. oh, you're at 80, and now you're at 60, and I'm going, oh, crap, get off the highway, <laughs> get off the highway now. So, yeah, that was my day. So, not, the, not the most exciting day. You were back at home at around 1? Around 1, yeah. No, 2. It was 2? Two? 2. Two. Two, two, two. After, after bursting a tire at 9 a.m., so... It was a crappy day. <laughs> Thank you, Cafe Man. Um, the uh, tow truck, truck driver was really nice. Had the longest dreads of, of anyone I've ever seen. Ugh. And... Uh, Characteristic hippie. Yep. Yeah. Uh, smoked from his his fr his fruit flavored tobacco from his vape the whole drive drive back to yeah. the to the um, uh, dealership. Dealership, yeah. Repair place. But he was very nice, and uh, was telling me all about how he's moved up in the world in his in his tow trucking, and he used to drive. So we have a bunch of um, in Vancouver. There's Three, well, there's more this than three. This game is so hard. There are many big bridges, and every bridge has a tow truck, and he was telling me this, because during rush hour, if, if a car breaks down on the bridge, they have to get rid of it right away. So he, for months, was the guy sitting in the tow truck waiting for a car to break down, and he said it was 
both extremely boring and very stressful because if a car breaks down on a bridge, it's like, you know, you there's no Panic. side. You have to get them off right away. So, so, I yeah, kind of interesting talking to him about that. But he said he, he, he worked oh. very hard to get off of bridge duty into, into a nut. What are you up to over Sniffing there? around. Yeah, kind of interesting. But, uh... I'm going to play... Uh, easy after this. Easy? Because I'm Practice not even making it, it to the dock stage. Try to make stage. it dense. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I'm very happy to be home and playing video games. <laughs> so the, the car is repaired. It has a new tire. Yeah, I got... They, they actually managed to fix it and replace the tire. No big issues. They thought they Did. might have to replace two tires. Well, because it's... It's a electric so let... hybrid car. And they the guy was saying that... You can't, the four wheels, because of the electric motor, the the tires, like, you can't have one tire that's more worn down than the other, or, or too high. You okay? This there's game like, is so hard. He said there's like a two degree variation that it can tolerate, so we might have to replace more than one tire. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, if, if the other three were really worn down, we might have to replace two or four, but we didn't need to do that, thank goodness. Yeah. Great reset. Well, it's so quick to die that I don't even, I don't even need to reset. <laughs> so I'm plenty gonna play it easy is again. Is this hard? No, it's easy. They're just slower. They are. That's all. They, but it's the same enemies in the same pattern. So yep. There's no shooting. I haven't seen any. No, shooting. they don't shoot at you, which no. is very interesting. It's just all dive bombing. Yeah. This predates Galaga, or no? Yeah. It does. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember when Galaga is. It's like 81? 80 or 81? Right. I thought, I, yeah, I figured Galaga was in the 80s. Oh, yeah, not, the 80s. not prior to. So. This was 1981? This is 80. 80. I mean, easy is good practice because it's just slower, that's all. So they can, don't need to shoot. They already cause enough trouble. They do, Wait. and they and they don't die when they dive bomb you either. When they run into you, no, they they come back. So you can't even take out the last ship with your ship. Mm. Phoenix, yeah, especially the d dividing with Phoenix. I do love that. Yeah. The Bright design, the colors, the pastel and bright colors of the ship and the enemies are Neither of us so made it to pretty. this on normal. No, just on easy. You didn't make it on normal? I to this? You did. No. Good job. Thank you. I'm gonna die immediately and mm. lose my power up, I'm sure. Mm. Oh, not yet. It is way more powerful with two ships. Oh my god, the firepower is so immense. That's that's when I die, right there, because I forget that I'm on cabbage level, cabbage. and the thing appears before you immediately. Yeah. Like, look. Terrible. Oh, yeah. Is this like a bonus level? It kind of is. Because it just ends. Like, you don't even have to shoot them. You, just, you could avoid them if you want. Maybe. Right on! Get ready to blow up! <laughs> yep. Whew, it's hot. Oh, why is it so hot? 26 and a warm. half. It's supposed to be hot in the next few days here. Oh, terrible. Kamikaze cabbages! I don't want it to be hot again. I don't either. Can we, like, move further from the sun? Uh, oh, 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 oh! Can everybody stop making the earth Polluting? worse, yeah. please? today. Yeah. It's terrible. It's never, ever, ever this hot in Vancouver for this long. He's going to switch. Yeah, stay out of that corner. He goes back up and he immediately goes down for that corner. Like, you start to memorize their, their movement patterns. So the first and second wave are the same ships. I don't know when they do that. They, when they go, go back like and this. forth, yeah. Kamikaze cabbages. 
I don't remember seeing this game back in the arcades. I've never, never seen, seen this game. No. There are so many games, arcade games. Oh, it's yeah. It's unbelievable how many games were made in, like, just in the short span of the early 80s. A lot of them were very, very similar. <laughs> like, so many shooters. And so many maze games. Because everybody's, like, cashing in, right? Yeah. On, on the Pac-Man the craze. Coins. They want your coins. The Galaga and the they Space Invaders. Now. They do. All I remember uh, from the Vancouver Winter Olympic Olympics. Oh no, yeah. It was that it was so warm they had to import snow. Yeah. They did. That was a. Oh, and Whistler. Terrible time. It was so warm. I mean, that was. It was April. That was probably not a great time to hold it yeah, either. April. It was. Wow. Was it April or March? Something like that? Or what? Was it earlier? I don't know. I don't know. But it was very warm. It's very nice here, <laughs> which was not good for the Olympics. Yeah. Gorgeous in Vancouver. Though. Yeah. Very and nice. like the indoor events were fine. Oh yeah. <gasps> to cabbages. Avoid. Avoid those cabbages. Oh, there's a cabbage. Green cabbages. No, don't die. I get past the cabbages. I didn't make it. Yay! Yeah, you don't have to shoot all the cabbages. Just like a a meteor wave. Then you get to the easy levels. These, this is easier. Is it? They just go They're straight so down. So big though. Yeah, but they just go straight down. So easy to avoid. Far out. out. I want to. I want to get all three ships. Work on that. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh no! You can't get all three then. How did I lose them? Just oh, because you reset to the beginning. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Because uh, hmm. it's your start. You're back at the beginning wave. I lost. I didn't. I didn't do anything. No. <laughs> I did not choose separate my ships. So you have to build it back up. I guess so. Hmm. Good job. Well, it is easy. Uh, a shooter I remember from back in the day in the arcades that was unique and original was Xerion. I don't know that one. Ah, he got me from behind. Mm. Of course, we didn't have really big arcades here in Vancouver. So no? So they just had the common, like, really, Little... really common games. Mm. Does anyone remember in, like, the 90s where they had, like, the Sega lounges or the big Sega? When I was in Toronto, they had, like, Sega. these massive arcades. It was the that one right mid-ish to late 90s. Ah, I knew he was going to come back around. They were like Sega one more. branded oh, what is or something. That? Sega branded or something else. Like reset. I don't know if I was on easy. There's one at Square One in Toronto. Oh, well, that didn't do it. I just started the game over. Maybe it's select. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it did go to normal. But they had like a huge arcade, and then yeah. I think they also had laser tag in there, and it was like this big, almost like indoor playground, like mid-ish to late nineties. Of course, in nineteen eighty, I was seven, so yeah, I don't this think is, I was going into too many not arcades. this kind of arcade. This yeah. is that I'm talking about a much later kind yeah. of, almost like a playground, indoor playground kind of. Arcade. It might have been, I mean, it might have depended on who ran oh, it. Yeah, that. they they went right All for three it. of them. Um, but yeah, in Toronto, I, I remember that. So the only um, arcades or th things like arcades that I went to mm -hmm. when I was that young was on the ferries and in like bowling alleys. Ferries. Bowling alleys were good for, uh, for arcades. Corner stores. So they only had like the really big money-making games. Yeah. And they might have one or two or a couple, right? Like, not necessarily. Yeah. So I grew up in, in a suburb of Vancouver, which wasn't that big. So we had one arcade that I remember when I was, like, mm. whatever, 12 years old or a little bit younger. And it was, like, I don't think kids could really go into it. Or kids really didn't want to go into it. It was, it was more older kids or adults? Very dark. Mm. Everybody was smoking in it. Yeah. And it was all kind of adults, mm. or like older teenagers. So I wasn't too keen on going in ever. <gasps> oh my god. 
You can go up if you go too. Laundry mats had a few arcade cabs at the ones my parents used when I was little. Laundry mats, yeah. I don't think I think we always had our own washer and dryer, so I don't think I ever went into laundry mats. Let's see if I can get the full ship. Not if I crash. No, 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 no. Okay, I just have to make the past the cabbage phase. <laughs> Archie said we just took the garbage out and there was a cloud that looked like a pitfall scorpion. A what? You should have taken a photo, Nostalgic. <laughs> oh, no, I can't Put that get online. the full ship. Oh, no. Can you, you, you can't get a life back, can you? Yeah, Pixar, it didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. What? That, that went right awesome. through it. That sounds and like again, it would do well on Reddit. Um, it would. <laughs> like again, it went right through it. It went to the sides of each other. I can shoot these tiny things, but I can't shoot big cabbages. Probably because the cabbages are moving and these aren't. I think that's where you dock? No. No? It's the start again? There's two docking stages, I swear. Well, you, you cycle through the... But, it, waves, but right? when but when you went back to this one, it separated your ship. So how are you supposed I to dock all uh, three? Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. No, I thought that was in the video. I swear it was too. Yeah. Maybe we can't on easy. Maybe it's like, no, you're playing on easy. That's your punishment. Too, but I didn't have my phone and they were moving pretty fast. I checked to be sure it's gone. What were they? Crabs? No, uh, like the pitfall scorpion. He saw a scorpion? No, he saw a cloud that looked like a, a pitfall. Cloud. <laughs> I said crab. No, a cloud. Yeah, Cappy Mantini says, I remember two docking stages too. Maybe if you can't dock, it just skips over it. But I can. I still have one more. No, I mean, if you can't dock all three, it skips over it. I don't know. I had all three. Oh, uh, well, maybe. I don't know. Oh, God. I like these guys. They look like... They're so cool. They look vectorish. They look, they look like uh, a bunch of light drones in the sky of yes. formed ships or something. Like yes. lights coming together. Can I go again? No. No? No. Unless you... Do you want to go? I'll go again. Okay. I think I'm done. Try normal again. This game is so hard. It is so hard. On easy, it's it's about the level that I enjoy. Easy is enjoyable. Hard is uh, normal, normal is, is hard. Quite difficult. And makes for a very short game. I have to, I'd have to practice it a lot to get decent on normal. Lower, 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 lower. Ah, from <laughs> behind. Oh, terrible. Yeah, the single shooter is. There's no tracking for my retro tank, so no? I have no oh, idea no. when it's coming. Oh, he came, went right for... I know. Just turned around and shot and got like... you. I'd like to know when it's coming, but yeah, it comes when it comes, I guess. He says, he says, do not message me until it's after the end of eight, uh, August. Because it's on its way. <laughs> There's Satan's hollow movements. And the noises. That too. noise too when you shoot them. Oh come on, come on. There's no Satan's Hollow for seventy eight hundred. No. I don't know why. There should be. I know, there is for the fifty two hundred because they ported mm. it from the eight bit. Mm. Somebody has to make Satan's Hollow for twenty six <laughs> hundred or seventy eight hundred. Or the seventy eight hundred. I know. Either one. The fifty two hundred one is like, mm, it's okay. It's not, it's not perfect. Have we played it? No. No, we will though. Hmm. I don't, I need, I think I need the one megabyte upgrade for my XEGS <laughs> to play it. Yeah. But I think I have it on cartridge though. Mm. And, but I think you still need that. Uh, so I tried I to load it off the, off the multi-cart and it just doesn't, doesn't do anything. Yeah. 
Multipass, yes. Multipass. Time to wind down with a relaxing game. Give me something like Defender. Defender for Robotron. Defender would not be relaxing. Robotron is actually not relaxing, but I it's we're decent at it now because we played it so I know much. we have played it a lot. It's a fun game. Defender, I just die. It's just overwhelming Robotron. But it when is. you play two player, it it's, it's quite fun. It's quite good. Yeah, yeah, and especially when you can save each other. I love that John got that feature in there. Oh yeah. That so you can good. save each other and, yeah. and keep going and keep playing. So that's it for today. Yes. Uh, good games. Mm -hmm. uh, Dragon's Descent, awesome. Yes. Uh, the voices are pretty cool. I, I love I like them. Dragon's Descent. They're a little bit low. Maybe maybe bump them up. A no, bit. I like no 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 no. Dragon's no, Descent. No, I love it. I love it. Dragon's I love it. Dragon's Descent. I guess it goes along with it, right? <laughs> it goes with it. The low menacing Don't voice. That. No, I like it. I like it. Um, uh, Pueteru. Getting the cupcakes. I, I like that more cute. than I thought I would because it seems so simple on the outset, but it's actually dodging all those those COVIDs. <laughs> That's what they look like. Um, all the yeah. enemies is is quite a quite cute, a challenge. Cute actually. game. Yeah. A little bit challenging. And yeah. now and now we have a pixel. Pixel has has Hi. Has Hi. arrived. Yes. How are you doing? Um and Mooncresta, mm. uh, it's very good. It's very hard. So, so good, though. It looks so good. Easy it does. It's is, is fun. Normal is hard. Yeah. That's basically where it sits right now. So, yeah, it's a pretty yeah. hard game. Kaboom is pretty relaxing. <laughs> no. No. That is torturous, no, that game. it is not. I don't have my I, patch, and it's going to take a long... Kaboom stresses me out. Oh, my God. It's like, so stressful. Mooncrest is hard, but it doesn't really stress me no. out to play it. But Kaboom yeah. stress. There's some games that you just, ooh, your back gets up. Oh, Crossbow. Uh, crossbow asks, uh, are you using your Tink 5X with the 7800? No, I have not got it in the mail yet. Still waiting on it. Um, Mike Chi says, the developer, has posted on his page that they should be shipping throughout August. Mm. And not to email him until after August saying, where's my thing? Because yeah. he didn't send out tracking with it. So you don't Maybe it's exactly. not automatic. He couldn't do it automatically. Because he's just a one-person operation. Who knows? Yeah. No, he has tracking. He does. Oh, he does. He just... There's no mechanism to easily oh, send it to okay. people. Okay. Um, so hopefully soon... Um, I have a think Tink 5X here for testing, but I haven't tried the 7800 on it. I've only been testing with a television RGB and ColecoVision. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I can't wait to get it because I'm having troubles. Yeah. Every time I turn off my 7800, mm -hmm. it's sending something to my hardware enco video encoder Yeah. and making it crash. Yeah. And for sure, it's something going from the 7800 to the Frame Meister. When I turn it off, it goes to some sort of video display mode that it doesn't understand, sends some blanking code to the encoder, which freaks out, shuts down, Ugh. and I have to unplug it and plug it back in, yeah. which sometimes crashes the, crashes computer, the computer on top and of shuts it. down the stream. Yeah, it's so crazy. Ugh. But anyway, I hope <laughs> that the RetroTINK 5X solves that. Otherwise, I'm getting a new hardware encoder, mm. a hardware video encoder to alleviate that problem mm -hmm. because the video the camera doesn't shut down because it's a constant stream never switches resolution mm -hmm. the webcam's fine constant stream never Cameras switches resolution fine. yeah 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 so i'm hoping the retro tank 5x is just like 1080p 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 no matter what yeah. it's like this is a frame perfect frame every time yeah no matter what it gets on the input side it the output is always a steady frame after frame after frame of 1080p um, especially with its triple buffer mode, yeah, which is supposed to just knock anything out that uh, it gets, uh, anything weird. Mm. For my testing, it didn't like the CV TMS RGB in all modes, Ooh. Uh, but the Intellivision RGB was working in all modes, mm. which is really nice. Um, yeah, because I have an Intellivision RGB mod mm. that I'm going to test with the Retro Tink. When it gets here, he's got the newer ColecoVision RGB mod. I've got the older one. And triple buffer is pretty much required from the testing I've done. Yeah, I think that's what I would figure. 
with newer consoles, you wouldn't need that because they're just 1080p or steady nice. output. S yeah, frame rate. But the yeah. old stuff is like, they control the television like directly. Mm. So they can just, they can just send say, garbage to this the is what This is what I want. So yeah. yeah, they can send garbage to the CRT and the CRT is like, meh, fine. Yeah. Because it just doesn't crash out. It just, no, it just keeps going. Frame after frame. Yeah. No matter what the frequency, if you even adjust the frequency yeah. up or below like 60 hertz mm -hmm. yeah cardboard box you got us in our last minutes yeah <laughs> um but no i haven't got mine yet very looking forward to it i'm in second batch i'm guessing crossbow got his in the first batch mm. um but i can't wait to test it out yeah. all on the systems all the systems hopefully everything will work yeah. smoothly after that yeah we had good games today i liked all of them yeah, in their too. own special way yes they were all good they were all good yeah yeah uh so coming up Actually, the next episode, we're going to do an 8-bit day again. Oh, good. Yep. Uh, including uh, Peril, which is VHZC's mm. game. He did a, a port of his Peril, Game Peril, eight, the helicopter one. Really? Yep. Well, that, that's good. And we're going to play a game called RGB. Okay. Uh, where you change different colors and shoot Breaking robots. Through. Okay. Yep. And we're going to play Bosconian for the 8-bit system. Somebody did. Oh, really? A homebrew port of it. <gasps> And it's cool. re really, really good. Wow. It's really good. Okay. Like, You're a Bosconian primo. fan. Yeah. When we go to the arcade, he just is like, oh, where is, Where's where is Bosconian? Bosconian? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, no, there's no After Dark today. <laughs> That's a lot of booze. I didn't plan for an After Dark. Um, maybe on Friday. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Because we have a little bit more time on, on Fridays. Because Friday. it's the weekend. Yeah. So. Maybe on Friday yeah. we might do Just one. Just have nothing set up right now for, for an After Dark. No. Yeah. No, nothing. Nothing set up. Uh, bust out the XCGS. Yes. Yes. And, and, you know, the composite's fine. It's good enough for now. Mm. Um, I'm still waiting on the... Oh, what is the name of it? I always forget the name of it. Sophia 2. Mm. Um, it's a video upgrade for the XCGS and the 5200 so I can get uh, better output for it so I can upgrade it. Actually, Crossbow is going to upgrade it. <laughs> That's who's going to upgrade Thank it. You. Thank you, Crossbow. <laughs> and I have an alert on it to let me know. And it's still sold out, but they're on vacation right now. So. Oh, the person who runs the... yeah. yeah. Not till September, they say, when they're going to start doing things again. Gotcha. Okay. So it might be cool. uh, three, three or more weeks until I can order it. And I don't know if I should just order it and send it directly to Crossbow mm. and then ship off my systems to get it done faster or mm. ship it all here and then ship it all together to Crossbow. Well, you can always ask Crossbow what his preference is. So. I don't think he cares. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't care. But, uh, yeah. Still very nice. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, so as soon as some stuff comes in, I'm sending him... My 5200, yeah. my Intellivision, mm. and my XEGS. Mm. So I have three systems upgraded to RGB equivalent. Component slash RGB. Nice. Yeah. And I'll be able to play any 8-bit game at that point. Because wow. there's also a, a 1 megabyte upgrade for the system. Okay. Beca because some games need more. Mm. Be advised, I only accept a few consoles at a time to ensure a quick <laughs> You can let it sit there. What? You're not going to have it back out in 48 hours? <laughs> I thought there was a guarantee. 48 hour guarantee. <laughs> 48 hours. Turn around time. 48 hours or it's free. No. Yeah. I read that <laughs> the somewhere. The pizza's free. I read that somewhere. No, I don't want the pizza free. I want the console free. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. Or double your consoles back. Yeah. Right? <laughs> double your consoles. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks turnaround in most cases. Well, that's, oh, that's... that's incredibly impressive. That's very, to be honest. Very yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, or two consoles back, right? Double your consoles. Mm. Okay, um, so we'll be playing th those games. And then on the 20th, I have... We're going to play uh, Bonk, B-star-N-Q. That's on Darcy's Day because you detest Qbert. Um, and that is the truth. Yes. And we're playing... Uh, Plum Luck on that day as well. The Plum for seventy eight hundred. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, um, so. I do. I do detest Cuber. 
Yeah, you just can't get your head around the I, I, controls. I just it's it's from childhood. Yeah. It's it's yeah. I could probably figure it out, but yeah, exactly RC seventy exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just don't like Cuber. Yeah. Yeah. It's too bad. It is a strange control system, the 45 degree angle. I, I, I Even just, when you s turn the joystick, yeah. it's still hard to wrap your head around sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. The one that's being yeah. developed for the 2600 right now is so good. He hasn't did we, updated it. Yeah, we played it, didn't he? He hasn't updated it in a long version. time, but it's got like special characters mm. beyond Qbert. Ones oh, that really? like freeze you, or I can't remember what they were. They're really good. I hope he continues on with that i'm definitely going to pester him mm. to do that love cubert on the 2600 mm -hmm. it's not bad for the 2600 the new one is the new mm. homebrew version is so good. it's really good yeah so good yeah it's got all the um platforms together rather than that weird gap yeah so. i love how homebrewers are just like you know what i can do better we can do this better yeah. <laughs> and they just come Let's up with new versions the problems. like you liked it before but it's just even better now yeah yep that's cool so thanks for joining yeah. us today, Atari 2600 <laughs> Dude, RC70, Crossbow, Vitoco 8 Bits. Oh, Pac Man 4K is an excellent example. Yes. Yes. And the 8K one as well. Yeah. Um, they're both very, very good. And upgrades. They're like upgrades. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's almost not homebrew, it's like an upgrade. You're upgrading. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it was well needed. Like the, the original Pac Man on the 2600 is just nothing like yeah. that. So. Yeah. Um, Toko 8 bits, a cardboard box, Stan AVC, Metal Lunar 7, Kafman 2D, Nostalgic 26, Mike Soul, uh, Carl, G, Carl G, the D Train, Revan Tuli, thank you for your awesome da Dragon's Descent yes, game. Yes, yes, yes. Um, auto mod? Oh, we didn't allow that. Oh. No misogyny. Don't say bimbo, even if it's a brand of some thing from mexico <laughs> from mexico um arena foot uh any other names whoa look at that length yeah that's uh, it that's the uh, little debbie it oatmeal it oatmeal cream pie didn't get rid of that link but it's like oh my god i want to look those up now uh i think i've got all the names of the chatters today mm -hmm. um have an re excellent rest of the night o'briens and everyone and everybody yes, else have an excellent too. week thank you for joining us yeah, thank you for joining Hopefully us. Hopefully I'll have a better uh, commute into work tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully. No more burst tires. And... We don't want that. It's Ugh. too expensive. $300. Oh, too much money. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, so we're out of here. We'll see you on Friday, same time, with you. With me. Yep. Oh, we'll and Andrew Davey. Andrew Davey, yay. Yep, thank Still you, Andrew Davey. And awesome. so have a good rest of the week. We'll see you on Friday. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.